Welcome everyone to the channel. My name is Dennis Yan and we're gonna talk about some really good tips and tricks for PUBG Mobile and many more FPS games you can relate to. And I can assure you many of these aren't even on internet or even on YouTube. All people tell you is reeled on time and go prone or where to land, yeah yeah yeah. But is that really what you need? I mean if you play a game this game enough you can get the basic understanding of what you need to do but we're gonna talk about some some kind of skill set here you're gonna need in actually winning the game so let's get started now first thing we're gonna talk about is set your sensitivity what's right for you now what does it exactly means it means that you need to be able to move your crosshair wherever you desire it to go so for example I am a pachinki assault player so I need high sensitivity to move all around me even behind me if you are a sniper you probably want low sensitivity so you can get those accurate shots through buildings what i'm gonna tell you is you should be able to get your aim right at your enemy so how can you do that you can either go to your practice mode or you can change your settings and match itself so what you have to do is just try swapping to your right or your left if you can move your character enough to your right then it's okay if didn't if the character didn't move that much to your right you desired it to move then you need to increase your sensitivity by just a little or vice versa if you feel like this setting is good enough for you keep it that way don't change it too much because if you're gonna change it too much you will never get that muscle memory so what you need here is muscle memory and to remember the settings number second we're gonna talk about is aim down sight well sometimes you shoot a guy but he doesn't get damaged at all it's because bullets just go randomly around your crosshair it's just a matter of luck at that point if you're gonna hit that guy or not what ADS does is it increases your accuracy by a lot I mean you really need to make it your new muscle memory in order to win fights because every single second count in FPS games now how can you do that is by either making changes in control maybe move it, moving ADS closer to attack buttons so you can simultaneously use them both or you can use claw no claw is really gonna consume time to master it number three we're gonna talk about is moving sideways you don't need to move like a car move like a drifting car <laughs> you you need to move like a drifting car okay move sideways you don't have to move like a robot or something you don't need to be out of a cover first and then look toward the enemy move sideways and keep aim already at the way enemy is or you think it is this way enemy will not get the advantage of seeing you first but both of you get to see each other at the same time now it's just a matter of reflexes at least it's fair at this point number four use pre-fire now pre-fire users are legends legends in my book luck plays a big role in it and now before you start saying well I'm doomed now I have no luck at all listen hey listen at least you can do is shoot early when you are absolutely certain an enemy is coming toward you and it's really near pre-fire run and gun if you have to if you injure that guy just just kill the enemy it's all about feeling the moment for example, if a guy is sidewalking and coming out of cover repeatedly, this time use your pre-fire so he can't hide again. It's that simple. It's a solid counter to sideways walker. Number five, we're gonna talk about is relocation. Never shoot from same location over and over again. Find different spots and try hitting with different angles if you can. I am saying it so it becomes your muscle memory always be aware of your surrounding also if 
if there is one one enemy keep your sight and move accordingly if there are multiple keep moving cover to cover change buildings so they get confused where exactly are you they're gonna think oh that guy is in that building he was shooting from there so they're gonna go there but by the time they get there you're gonna be in another building aiming at them so this this is the benefit of relocation relocation is the key to never get predicted now number six we're gonna talk about is keep your calm don't instantly start shooting just because you saw someone that means is don't just shoot someone because you saw someone through a window to through another building's window to another building window where the enemy is you are just giving away your position now he knows you are there let them can come out of cover and then shoot when you're certain you're gonna kill that guy number seven we're gonna talk about is frag flashbang and smoke they are important so pick them up because you might need them you can use them time to time I may consider you just to go to your auto pick option in your settings and give them some space in your backpack because they can win you the game for example if your teammate is down you can you can use your you can use your smoke and if you want to push you can throw nades or frags at enemy if you are downstairs and you know there are a team of four upstairs so you can use your flashbang to blind them all there are many good uses of these nades so be sure to pick them up number eight is really important don't cluster together being every team member at same spot is deadly for your team and you for example if only a frag comes in well you know it's GG in fact I don't even recommend being in the same building at all if you have two more buildings really close together your team have multiple places to fire from and possibly flank the team they're gonna push you in future Number nine we're gonna talk about is never stay still. You are just going to give away your head to the sniper. Find a cover first, then do whatever you want to do with your inventory or bag. I must say so. If you don't have a cover, keep moving frequently. Don't be an easy target. Do zigzag until you find a cover. Number 10, don't reload, switch your gun. Sometimes all you need is one hit and all for that you go in a cover and reload just 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 switch to another weapon. If you don't have another AR or SMG killed with pistol at least you are not giving them the time to hide and heal. And if you have two AR or SMG pre-fire sorry prepare to find cover when you using your second gun because if that ammo runs out it's GG for you you know what I really don't like losing to these kind of guys who were just one shot away from dying and but kills us instead later on in the game these 10 should be more than enough Especially if I had to say so myself, my Indian community. Thanks to PUBG, we really got a gaming community. Well, except of Counter Strike and Need for Speed. We really didn't have a community of gamers before. So, this video is appreciation for what PUBG did. They they came in India with the game. That's 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 really a heartwarming thing. But I've been playing all genres of games from years now, but gaming wasn't even that much open-minded thing be more than how much open-minded games have become in India is just it's, it just feels good to know now we have a gaming community in India so I can talk about games for my people and 
for you guys who are watching from outside India. So thank you for watching. And just just a quick note: if you, if you want maybe another video for for maybe PUBG, even for PUBG, I can I can definitely definitely make videos about strategies or maybe more kicks and trips because. I have been playing games from I don't even know. I was a gamer since I since I was literally born. I was in my first standard when no no I got my phone first phone in KG if I remember exactly. Yeah, I've been playing that game, Penguin game. I still remember. It. No, that that I'm I'm rambling now. What I want to what I want to say is thank you for watching and if you. If you would like to support the channel, please, please tell me what kind of content you want to see from me. If you have any suggestions, I will gladly, gladly accept that. And more, there are three things you can expect from this channel. First is gaming, second is anime, third is music. Now, if you if you don't like anime or you don't like music, you don't have to watch it. But I'm just I'm just putting it out for other people who maybe are interested in anime and music. I'll, I'll probably make a video on if you want to start watching anime, what, is, what will be the best anime for you to watch. So from where you can start watching anime, I can probably make a video about that or I can probably make a video about different genres you can possibly like, possibly like or different genres of game you possibly can play if you don't play PUBG already <laughs> so yeah keep an eye out for these these videos and a quick note <laughs> another quick note god damn it, I have so much to talk about there will be a video this video will be uploaded again in Hindi for my Indian gaming community so please Keep an eye out for that, please. And again, thank you, really, thank you for watching and sharing it with other people. And leave a like. And I love you all. I love, I love India. I love other countries. I love, I love gaming community, and I love, I definitely, I definitely love YouTube too, and you guys too. Bye. See you later.